Teresa Saputo Querend, congratulations. All through every milestone in life, first job, getting married, kids, Columbia has been my community. Doors have been opened because of Columbia. Both my brothers were at Columbia while I was in high school, and we had gotten an inkling that Columbia was going to be um, opening its doors to women in the year that I was applying. I was a tennis player and the women's sports program became the Columbia Barnard Athletic Consortium and prior to that it was Barnard's teams. So there were some kinks to work out. The friends I made on that team are my best friends to this day. I was the driver of the tennis van so I would go down there um, every afternoon get the tennis van, drive it back up to College Walk, pick up my team, and it was a lot of fun. I was initially on the Dean's Alumni, Alumni Task Force. Some research was presented that at that time, even though there was 20 years of uh, women out in the world who had graduated from Columbia College, they were not giving at the levels that men were. So I really wanted to be a part of um, bringing women back on campus to engage them. So I joined the um, Columbia College Women's Board. Um, and from that, it just was a natural progression to reach out to the alumni leaders at all of the other schools as well. She Opened the Door was the first university-wide women's conference. We had uh, over a thousand women attend over the three days. And we had luminaries like Ruth Bader Ginsburg talk. She had graduated the law school. And now I have my daughter, um, who, will, who will be starting this September, class of 2022. And she'll graduate 35 years to the day that I graduated. I want her to blaze her own trail here. I want her Columbia experience to be her Columbia experience. Doing volunteer work at Columbia is a labor of love for me. It really doesn't ever feel like work. And then to be honored for it um, just sort of is the icing on the cake. 